शिक्षा YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और नए अपडेट्स के लिए बेल आइकन पर क्लिक करें Hello gate aspirants welcome to shiksha.com as you know the registrations have started let's quickly take you through step by step registration process so as you visit the official website of gate you need to click here to apply so if you have registered earlier you can enter your login credentials here and submit otherwise just click here to register yourself enter your name here Just be very sure that this is the name that you want on your admit card and click continue. Fill in the rest of the details. You have to repeat your email ID here just to make sure that the email ID you've entered is correct. Click on the country of residence if you're an Indian click here. If you belong to some other nation you can click on other enter your contact number here create a password and confirm the password again enter this arithmetic expression and then click on submit now that we have login credentials ready enter your credentials here your email id and password and this is a standard verification process and submit click on edit application form before filling the application form make sure that you are eligible for the exam to know a detailed eligibility criteria for gate click here as you can see a detailed information has been given about the eligibility criteria Go through this page before you fill the application form. Now going back to the application form. The first section in your application form is gate exam details. So first of all select the stream that you're interested in. Select your country. And you have a choice of selecting three examination city. So select the three cities that seem convenient to you and are accessible from your place. The next section is applicant's personal details. So as you can see some of the details have already been pre-filled. So you can scroll down and fill the remaining details. So you can select your gender, nationality and category from here. If you belong to PWD or learning disability category, then you can click yes here. Candidate with less than 40% disability won't qualify for any PWD benefits. Please remember this. So now select the country of permanent residence there's so many countries listed out here then you have to select your state or ut that you belong to and now you have to submit one of these uh, id proofs so there is a list of id proof which includes aadhar college id driving license employee id pan card passport voter id so you can select whichever is convenient and available to you so i am selecting aadhar card here Now you have to enter the name of your parent or guardian and now you have to select the country of residence of parent or guardian right along with their contact number scrolling down and coming to next section is correspondence address so next is correspondence address this is the address that will be used for all the communications So enter the right address here and we'll start with the pin code followed by country I'm selecting India here and as you can see that uh, the state has been auto updated and so has city and town right so you just have to enter your uh, address make sure that you're entering the right address otherwise you may miss out on some important communications right scrolling down to next section which is qualifying degree details so here you have to enter the details of your college and university so first of all you need to enter the pin code of your college 
followed by country India is auto selected and again uh, state and UT has been auto updated and so has the town and city right so you have to enter your roll number out here and select the qualifying degrees so there's so many qualifying degrees listed out there select the one that you have qualified in followed by the discipline that you have pursued so here it is civil engineering so now it's asking you have you graduated in the above degree or not so if you have completed the graduation select yes as i have done it here uh, if you're still pursuing the graduation click no scrolling down you have to fill the year of graduation degree so it's 2018 for me now mention the university that your uh, institute is affiliated to so in my case, it's Anna University. And then the college name. The next section is asking you to upload some important documents. So I've already uploaded some of the documents. Uh, before uploading the documents, please take care of these instructions that are given out here. The aspect ratio, the uh, pixel resolution, etc., etc. Otherwise, you won't be able to upload the pictures. Here, you can upload any one of the following uh, valid documents: either degree, course completion certificate, consolidated mark sheet, etc. And this should be in the PDF format. So, guys, please do take care of the format being asked for. And last but not the least is the declaration part where you have to mention how did you get to know about the gate exam and then click here before submitting the application form make sure that all the information that you've given is correct so you can save and view the application form and now you can scroll down to see if all the information provided is correct just in case you want to make any of the changes, you can do it now. Because once you've submitted the application form, you won't be able to make any changes further. So make the necessary changes if required. And then submit and proceed to payment. A payment page will be prompted asking you to pay the application fee through debit card, credit card, net banking, etc. Make the payment and voila! Your application form will be successfully submitted. Next step will be downloading of admit card, which will be made available to you on 3rd January. Till then, stay tuned to shiksha.com for more updates. Thank you for watching this video. 